And if memory serves, we're both probably three touchdown favorites mm -hmm. in those respective games. Both teams lost. Mm -hmm. It's just what happens in college football. Let's check in as the ball pops out. And Ohio State looks like they have a fumble recovery off the free kick. Look at those numbers on Henderson. 192, two touchdowns. He's been the difference in the game. Again, bootleg action. And it's Stover on the receiving end. Crush each other. I wonder if he knows it's up top. This time, good throw. And that's the first catch of the night for Cade Stover. Yards on the play. As you said, linebacker from Lexington High School. Not too far north. Officials come out for defensive injury. Put them all together, unstoppable. This time connecting. Ryan Day said, you know, we got to be patient, throwing a ball underneath. We have an open receiver on the bootleg, and they find Cade Stover, the sophomore tight end. Smith and Jingle, one of the most elusive guys in the country. Quick release. Stover's got it. Wrestled down at the 40. They want to try to get this Notre Dame defense on its heels. Book has been the main target tonight. Five catches. This is Stover. Second catch of the drive. Just bounces off a tackler there. And they could hit some haymakers. Henderson and Williams in the backfield. Stroud is throwing. And Kate Stover. He's caught at 40-yard line. Still on his feet. Pushed forward inside the Arkansas State. 30, officially down to the 29. It's a play action off of the toss play that you just ran. They've run that toss about three times now. The defense is ready to trigger on it. Okay, well, let's run the play action off of it. We'll sneak our tight end out there. Second down and 14 after the loss. And C.J. Stroud with the underneath throw. And, ooh, tight end Cade Stover, big hit. But it makes his second reception of the day. You're going to have to accept that. And uh, the Buckeye players do. Play fake. Uh, uh, Sideline to Stover. Cade Stover, first and goal. They can pick on him a little bit, and they're going to try to work on him. 38-yard pickup and a first down. Deontay Johnson helped make that stop. He's an outstanding defensive end. Yes, got him. There it is. Post pattern, and it is caught. Inside the 15 to the 10, Cade Stover. That was a skinny push. You nailed it. Yep. He didn't bend it very hard. He stayed vertical, and that's what made it work. You see how he's just kind of bending slightly so? Quinn. Yep, Brady came up. Showing the yeoman's work. The versatility in their talents. C.J. Stroud lets it fly again to the sideline, and that's another tremendous catch by Stover. Motions out, empty backfield in this first time play. Stroud across the middle, throws a dart, and it's Cade Stover, the tight end, who's becoming an increasingly important part of this attack. They got to try to hold Ohio State to a field goal. Stroud rolls to his left and now throws back to a right, and wide open is Stover, who somersaults for a touchdown. It's for five star receivers like to come. Stroud gets the ball out again, complete to Stover, and he barrels for a first down inside the 30. Around like the art bales I hate down there. First and goal. And Stroud still got it, and he just flips it into the end zone to Stover again. The second for the tight end. They're just having fun with this vaunted Badger defense right now. You think they're looking at his formation. They're going to run the ball. Instead, they have Stover. He's going to work out to the flat. Watch that defense react. And now you got two guys. They're worried he's going to run it in. Both try to take Stroud out and leave Stover. Stroud, second and eight. And a quick pitch and catch. And there's Kate Stover. First down, Kate Stover had a coming out party last week with his first two career touchdowns, a gain of 12 there. But right, right there is able to get upfield in a hurry. Stroud rolls out, he hits Stover who was being grabbed. No flag there, he makes the catch and they move the sticks anyway. Second down and seven to the 29. Stroud to throw it. Underneath, and that's a reception. Made this time by Cade Stover, Seth Benson. We're seeing the development of a great defense here at Ohio State. First down and 10. Stroud. Looking. Stroud bottled up, backed it up. Reverses. Dumps it off. He's got his tight end. Oh. Cade Stover. And Stover breaking a tackle, getting upfield.
on the back stretch of the 400 hurdle. Watch this. Castro's coming up and he says, gone. Penn State defense already giving up a big play. Second and five at the 33. C.J. Stroud steps into his throw underneath, and it's caught by his tight end, Kate Stover. He's their go-to guy. Stroud over the middle. Caught, not enough for the first down. That tackle made immediately as Stover makes the grab. No gain on the last play. Second and 10 at the 39. Here's Stroud, play fake, steps, sideline throw, complete to Stover, not a lot. First and 10 at the 32, after the 23-yard gain, Stroud, another quick strike, this time underneath Kate Stover, the tight end, and he's wrestled down by Abdul Carter. First down and 10 at the 31, Stroud over the middle, and it's caught by his tight end Stover and he's down at the Penn State 45 first and 10 of the 24 can Stroud pay it off deep drop sets over the middle caught Stover breaks the tackle still on the move Cade Stover touchdown world famous because of the action in the backfield there's the ball from Stroud Stover is wide open. A good physical run at the end, by the way. Continuing to break tackles and get himself all the way into the end zone. Games now, including Jones, the right tackle, making his 22nd career start. They set up a screen. Cade Stover, outstanding tight end, chopped down along the far sideline by Xander Mueller. Ohio State, even though they've got the win, they've got a long way to go. C.J. Stroud. Checks it down, Stover the tight end, is out of bounds at the 23-yard line. It'll be third down and seven at the 19-yard line. Stroud lines up again in the seam. And caught, well done, Cade Stover the tight end. 6'4", 255. How about the ball placement right there? That was an excellent throw. Probably better catch there as he's working right down the middle of the field. The deep man in the eye formation, second and goal. Play fake, Stroud, wide open, touchdown, Kay Stover. And here's Stover on this left side. Now watch as the play action is going to go all the way to the right. That's going to get the defender to commit to Stroud in the backfield, and Stover just sneaks out. First down at the 12. They drop it off. Stover, nice move, reaches. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Second touchdown of the game for Cade Stover. Boy, he is such a threat as a tight end, in particular when you've got to focus so much on the wide receivers on the outside. Does he stay up? He does. Look at that. I thought maybe that elbow was going to hit before he was able to extend it. I don't necessarily agree with that call. Stroud on first down. Inside the 10 is Stover. And it is a first and goal, Buckeyes. Under get a little turned around. You see him just hold it for a half second, and then he puts it right out in front. Much pressure right here. You got a lurking linebacker there at the second level. Let's see if they bring him. Third and seven. Stroud extends the play, but is there any option downfield? Across the grain and into the hands of Stover. Second down and 10 of the 19. Here's Stroud looking again, throws, and he finds his receiver on the far side, written out of bounds, close to that first down marker. First and 10 of the 30. Stroud checks it down, Stover the tight end, and he's upended at the 35. McCord from the shotgun, fires it over the middle. That's complete. Uh, that's a first down throw to Cade Stover, the tight end. McCord. And they didn't need that. McCord. Down the middle. Got it to the tight end. Breaking tackle. Stiff arms his way. Cade Stover to the 21. Easy pitch and catch here on this one. Wide open. Gets a great release over yards after catch. Have there been in this game? Buckeye, the Buckeye, fans, Buckeye fans looking at those possessions going, oh, that's not what we expected. <laughs> Here's tight end Stover for a first down. That's what you get the feeling, though. You get the feeling that Ryan Day at the 19-yard line. 
Play fake, bootleg, throw on the runs, on the money to Stover, and he's got a first down at the 10. Boca now will stretch out farther to the bottom. McCord going down the seam. He's got his tight end on the run. Stover still going all the way to the 25-yard line. Another good throw by Kyle McCord. I'll tell you, this guy can throw the football. 48 yards that time. Again, in my opinion, college football with the receivers they have right down the middle. That's very similar to that play against Georgia when Xavier... Johnson took that one down the middle. And Western Kentucky will get the ball after halftime, but how close will it be? Play action, McCord on the roll, drops it off, tight end, Stover. Again, wide open space in Columbus. Action comes off of it. All of the movement, nobody left out in the flat state, Stover. With they keep away last week, Youngstown State did. McCord down the middle. Puts it right on the money for Stover, the tight end, and he is tight roping inside the red zone. 49-yarder in the open. You're going to see him come right into your screen across the field. Kate Stover, former DN. Play fake. McCord looks backside. Wide open receiver. This is Stover, his tight end, and he's out of bounds at the five. 37-yard gain, 15 yards, they go backwards. McCord, caught, Stover, touchdown, Bucks. 44 yards. Way with the motion and the fake, and then watch as the tight end, Cade Stover, is just going to run a corner route. The safety comes all the way down to stop the run. Stover's wide open, and then Dante Trader, number 12, you can tell he comes up with a hamstring injury. He was the closest Maryland defender. Flying in, just in case that ball was caught. With Alessandro on the coverage, now on second down. This one's up the seam. That one's caught by the big tight end, Kate Stover. Nice catch by Stover going up high to bring it down. Throwing the fact that Mayan Williams is down, Emeka Abuka is down. This is a very different looking Ohio State offense today. McCord to throw. Stover has another one. Stover into Purdue territory across the 45 yard line. Scorton with the coverage attack. From the four, third and goal. McCord tall in the pocket, throws into the end zone in traffic. That's caught. That's a touchdown. That's Kate Stover. Held on to that football, juggling it on the sideline. One play later, comes back and in traffic, hits Stover. And a gain of 60 to put him inside the 15. And now McCord throws another one. Cade Stover has his second touchdown today. To run the football, Cade Stover's a guy, you don't know if he's going to run block. They go the hard run action right at him, and he kind of sneaks his way through. Four consecutive runs for Ohio State. Now they'll throw it. McCord to the sideline. Stover with the catch. Stover leaning forward. Second down and one. McCord again to throw it. Over the middle. Caught by Stover at the 10. And what a catch. Incredible catch. He goes up and over Colby King and just out jumps him for the ball. Supreme athleticism of that player at wide receiver. Eight catches, 126 yards for Harrison over the middle. Stover again. Big fella. Empty backfield on first down for McCord. Plenty of time. Steps up. There's Stover. His first catch of the day. Spins his way to midfield. And that's the difference in having Cade Stover back, too. He's been out. He's got a knee brace on his right knee. He's out for the rest of the season. Injury suffered a couple weeks back. If McCord goes to play action. Fires to the sideline. It's caught. Out of bounds, Stover for another first down, picks up 10. It's fun. I had some good weapons, too, but that's that's fun. Play action, McCord just gets rid of it. Stover, a security blanket, and then some makes something out of nothing for a first down pickup of 12. 32 gets the football. Swing it, Stover again. Room to run down the sideline, shoved out of bounds inside the 30. Aaron Brule got the angle, and Stover eaten early in his return to action. So Aaron Brule go off. Gingerly as McCord will go to the air on second down and find Stover just shy of the 10. Forward progress will get him to the nine. Now 50 seconds left, still the two timeouts. A lot more field to work with. McCord over the middle. Stover 
inside the 30 and forced forward to the 26 by Cal Halliday. And have this play ready to go as soon as they call it ready. McCord end zone. Touchdown, Cade Stover. Tremendous throw from McCord. Watch Stover. He's just going to run a seam route, and the defender, the linebacker Jordan Hall, is on him. But the ball's thrown to the outside. It's gain of 10, so first down, P.J. Fleck was hoping that Ohio State would run the ball today. They've been doing that and picking up big yards. McCord zips it. That's caught. Near the 20-yard line by Cade Stover. Target picks up 16 more with that. Now 1,000 career yards and counting for Stover. Maybe having one of the best seasons in recent history for Ohio State's offense. Linebacker, big body. McCord will float this one. End zone caught. It's Stover. Here's your guy, Cade Stover, who's going to start with a block at the line of scrimmage. You have a big fullback. You get Chip Trainum in there, and it looks like Cade Stover is trying to seal the edge. And then waits, waits, one count, two count. He releases on the block, gets open in the end zone. Fleming in motion. McCord looks that way. McCord now buys time and throws. Flag on the play. That ball caught on the sideline. McCord, play fake. Up top, caught Stover. Big gain for Kyle Stover, the tight end. You get a safety moving down to his right, and then Stover is wide open. He's got the matchup he wants against Jimmy. McCord, underneath, caught, not a first down, but Ryan Day may go for this one as Cade Stover makes the catch in front of Michael Barrett.